Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over what a CSED is and the importance the CSED has in the IRS offering compromise. All right, so the CSED stands for Collection Statute Expiration Date. And what this is, is the time that the IRS has to be able to collect on the your tax debt. CSEDs are generally 10 years from the date that the tax is assessed. So what that means is when you file a tax return, there's debt on your, on your account. And 10 years from the date that you file, that debt can expire. So if the IRS doesn't collect your debt within that time frame, basically the whole debt goes wipe, gets wiped out. The reason this is so important is because the IRS can potentially collect from you until that date. So normally in coming to your offer amount, you're going to use the 433A here and use this formula down here at the bottom on section, uh, what is this, section eight here, right? Fill this part out to get your offer amount. And what this is, is we would go to like box F, which is right up here, your remaining uh, monthly income multiply that by two. If we're going to do the lump sum here, which you'll see here, right? That's the lump sum cash. This is the 656. 656. There it is. The 656. Uh, you'll get the remaining monthly income. You're going to multiply that by 12, put that in box G. That box G will come here. And then we also get the amount from box A, which is basically your assets that we have here left over. Hey, available individual equity in your assets. So we add the assets plus your future remaining income, and that's your offer amount. Now, Sometimes this works and we get offers accepted with this offer amount, but other times the IRS is going to look at that CSED date and they're going to say, no, actually your ability to pay is a little bit more than this offer amount. And how they figure this out is, here's a little example. This is directly from one of my clients, their, uh, the amount that they owe per year and the dates per year that they owe. And what the IRS is going to do is they're going to see the latest date here, the, what is that, January 11th, 2028, and we'll use today's date, and we're going to see how many months remaining on that last CSED date here. And in this case, it's 83 months are left over. And what they'll do is they'll take that remaining monthly income that you saw here, remaining monthly income box F, right, your income minus your living expenses, remaining monthly income. And you're going to multiply that by 83, so that 301, which is what his was, times 83, the CSED offer amount would be 24K. Now, if we were to use the, the 433 offer amount, we would do that 301 here times 12, 301 times 12, or the 3600. So obviously, this 24K is more. Now, the IRS could say, hey, we don't want to accept this 3600 because you have the ability to pay $300 per month for the next 83 months because that's what's left over on your CSEDs. So 24 or 25K is what we're going to accept as the offer for you. So that's something to keep in mind when filing this offer. Now, the IRS doesn't always do this. Um, this is not something that they always catch when we do the offers, but it's something that we do keep in mind. Now, if you see in this instance here, the taxpayer owed 138,000. I showed the client, hey, 24K is what the IRS could come back with uh, for us. Obviously, 24K is a lot better than 138. So the client says, you know what? I feel that we definitely should do this offer. Let's go ahead. We got a way more favorable outcome and we did get the 3,600 accepted. So how to figure your CSED? The best way to figure your CSED is to just give the IRS a call and ask for the CSED for every year that you owe and just jot those down. That's how you're gonna find it out and get the most accurate answer. The other way to do that is just you estimate your CSED and by, to, the way to do that is to go back and see when you filed your tax return 
and then add 10 years to that and that should be your C set. I really hope this video was helpful for you. If you would like some professional help in your case, feel free to schedule an appointment with us with the link down below. And as always, share, like, subscribe. Thanks so much, guys.